Right, welcome back to the next investigation. And as you see, you read the, the word Jew. And this leads you to the kingdom of Judah. Judah. So someone who's, who's Jewish is said to belong to the kingdom of Judah. Right? The Jews are named after Judah and are primarily descended from him. Now this gives interesting code, right? Because this Judah, right, if you turn upside down, and you can basically see there, and um, that becomes Yepur, right? Might uh, flip around in the in that uh, uh, software just to show, but this if you look at it upside down, right? It says yep her. Yep her, right? Y A P U R. Yep her. So when you have yep her thingy, there's a yep her in uh, India. Right? So it says that uh, the, the Jews are primarily descended from this Judah. Right? And the, the yep hers in India. And then you get Jaipur. So Jaipur in India has got to be in Yepur, right? So it could be talking about this, becomes the original Judah. Right? Obviously the Judah idea is totally created. But there is a real place called uh, Jaipur, see? And uh, more interesting stuff about me. See here, it's in the Indian state of Odisha. As you can see there, the kingdom was defeated by East India Company and there's a 777 code. Okay. But it's Odisha as well. It's very interesting because you go to Odessa, which is a city in Ukraine. Okay. Now obviously we know a lot of these Jews all come from Ukraine. And they're Ukraine is quite close proximity to India. We have to cross the Black Sea. You have to cross the Black Sea type of idea. I mean, you come from like but, uh, old Ottomans type of area, and then you, and you arrive on the, uh, the if say you're going to the coast of Europe type of thing. So that's where you arrive on on this coast. So this again that could explain the reason why the Ukraine becomes the home for these uh, Jews. Because it's the seaport where the where they came in, right? It's the seaport where they came in from India, traveling on the way from India, right? Across the Black Sea. You have that type of idea in the Bible about how the the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, right? so that would be being the chance. Right? Then this is crossing the Black Sea. Of course, it was a famous movie it was called the Odessa File. The Lake Odessa. Of course, who am I's Odyssey? You know, who am I's Odyssey was a good travels. Again, it was under the type of idea of the Greek. But again, that ancient Greek thing just becomes more Jewish metaphors for Jew here type of travels and all this. Did this become like the. Uh, Thing in the Ukraine. So as, as you see here, you got the Jaipur, the Jaipur, and the Yepa, Yepa. So all these are probably the same thing type of thing. Isn't it? Jaipur you know, in the Indian state of Odisha, the tribes of India. Third largest population. And there uh, here we have the Triple Seven crew, right? 1777.
you see the heavy until the advent of the British in 1777. So again, you've got the triple seven quid there. Well, no, well, that's associated with it. It's a time of this place all of a sudden was colonized by British in 1777. So you see what I mean? That's here uh, to me, it denotes hex. It denotes a fake, uh, fake background, like, you know. And the Church Mission Society. Yeah, it was the mission, basically, like the Exodus, you know, to go from India over to the lands of milk and honey. Yeah. Travelling from Egypt, which of course could be India, you know, in uh, real terms, in biblical terms. Travelling across to the land of milk and honey, see? as Jews, you know, to become Jews and then travel the like, you know. You also have the uh, Jodhpur, right? It's a slightly different place. No, it's known as Jaipur and Jodhpur, right? The Jodhpur are like the uh, horse riding trousers. You know, that the, the sort of posh people wear in, uh, in Britain, you know, when they're doing horse riding, Jodhpurs. Of course, if you're like in India or Across here, yeah, horse riding wouldn't be like a posh person's thing type of thing. But it is like now in the, you know, in these countries now, European countries. So you see how it's Jod, you know, like God. Jod like God. And yeah. Rajput, the Rajput chief of the Rough War clan. Not like uh, Rothschild, a bit like Rothschild type of thing, see? Again, you know, it's this Rothschild thing to the air uh, derived from Indian, see? The world possibility, like. So, you know, Judah sounds very, very like Buddha and very much like God. to be with 14, 1400s. Mandor. Again, the Dalits like here uh, in Janus. Mandor to Jodhpur. Here's a statue of this Raul Juada, you know, the plate there. That to me looks like pointing, sort of seeing go in that direction or something, you know. But that's pointing towards the west. You know, I would, uh, I would think that would be something to do with it. You know, if he's pointing off, the statue was pointing all over towards the west. They go west, young man or something, you know. Take over the place. Of course, you've got one of these uh, Rothschild branches in that here uh, in India. Of course, you know, kept in part of network and that. In a beautiful synagogue in India. Of course, like uh, this Odessa, you know, Little Odessa. There's a Little Odessa in there, uh, America somewhere. And see there, Tim Roth, you know, again, like the Rothschilds, the Jew. You know, that could be a city be coming from the uh, Rau or Ralph or whatever you call it, from India, see. Community in Brooklyn, of course, that's a very Jewish uh, place. Immigrant here, type of place. Jewish, yes. 
个，也，谢谢。Although not of a Jewish background, his father changed his surname from Smith to German Yiddish Roth. Where he's a crypto, I think, crypto. And yeah, the sexual abuse idea there. He's in this Invincible movie by Werner Herzog. Tim Roth, you know, no one of these type crypto characters, you know. We put in the Jod, you get the Jordanian Dinar, a bit of coin. But again, like the Trans Jordan, you know. Jod is just God. The Jod is God. See, you know what I mean? The uh, Jod Pua, is some of the do with God Pua, Pua God. And the letter Yod, same thing. Yod. The tenth letter of the Aleph Bet, like the Ten Commandments, Yod. Yod. Say Yod, Jod, or Jod, or Yod. Of course, you had Yoda in the Star Wars movies. It was like the wise master figure or something. Again, like a little Jew type of idea. And then that one goes to the Arabic Yaw. Of course, like Yaw, Jaw, Rastafari, and all this. It's always linked. Number four, Dalit. Jesus mentioned Yod during the antithesis of the law when he says one jot or one tittle shall the new wise pass from the law till it be fulfilled. Jot or tittle. So you know, very uh, credit the seemingly. Again, you know, basically, you know, becoming a seven. For all the uh, intensive purposes, like just becoming a seven type of idea again. Again, you sort of yod, yeah. Uh, Judo. The four or six sons of Jacob. The word Jew. See Jew words coming from these type of godlike care, uh, godlike type of ideas. I'm talking about Uadessa, see that like Yud, Uadessa, Yod, you know, like, yeah. You also have the Desi, the Desi Jews in um, India. Could be something to do with it. This is a story with Nazis type idea and all that. Again, you know, the double seven and the uh, lightning flashes. Solomon told by course King Solomon. Is he linking Jew Jewishness and India as well? You know, King Solomon. Diaspora after the Trojan War, of course, you know, yeah. Odysseus. It's got to be totally uh, all connected, like, you know. Greece, yeah, I would say the Greece is more like the India, you know, through Alexander the Great and that. 